Hey guys, what would you say if I offered you a half a million data points for all of your hunting research in the West? I'm talking all 11 Western states, all the big game species. Well, that's Tag Hub from Eastman's, your next level hunting research tool. Scott Reekers is going to walk you through the ins and outs and the how to's in this following tutorial. We have been feverishly working for a way to share our MRS information with you in a digital sortable platform. I'm here to tell you about all the features that are here today. So let's start off with your homepage. After you log in, you will see here that we have all of your resident deadlines, non-resident deadlines. Most of them are the same. Wyoming's the only one who's got that split up a little bit weird, but you can see all the states, all the species, same as you've come to expect in the MRS. However, we're going to be able to give you that a lot sooner. And so you can see that all this access is here. But now you also see that we have maps and charts, expert analysis available. But let's just go ahead and go to Nevada. And you can see once you click on Nevada, we now have a state map drawn. We have this set to mule deer. So I'm gonna back it out a little bit on this screen. So obviously we have the ability to zoom on any of these maps. So back it out just a little bit. And you can see, I've got a view of the whole state right there or I can zoom it in just like that and get it nice and tight. Or I can zoom in on a section, get really tight. So this allows you to get in close and see you know, where, where exactly these units are. Then go back to your hand and you can move this around however you would like. So I'm gonna zoom this back out. We'll get a little further out so we get a little bit better picture because I want you to see all these different, different options here. And you can see as you scroll over, it tells you what unit it is. And you can see how we have this set up. This is your filter. This piece right here on the filter is one of the most powerful tools that we've found for sorting through your unit. So we're gonna start with mule deer, and this is for all the archery hunts. But if we wanna change this to Nevada's any weapon hunts, and we'll switch this to a resident, if you're a resident, like a lot of the guys on our forum are, this will start sorting through that. So this is buck tags. They're all limited entry. Now this is where this gets really powerful. You get to sort this by when your season is. And so let's say you want to do one of the October hunts. So these are all the blue chips that are now available that have an October hunt. But if you want to move it to the next, let's go do an October, November hunt. Look at all of these hunts that are available. And so you can see, zoom it in just a little bit more. And now you can see all the numbers associated with this, where they're at, their location by the state. And so let's say you're really serious about unit 67 here in Nevada. Click on your hand, come over here to 67. Then on the right side of your screen, you will see all this information that pops up. This is all the information that is unique to this particular unit. So you can see the, all the valid units that are right here. We can open up trophy forecast and we can see that it's excellent. We can see what the draw odds are as a resident. So there are 140 tags given to resident and it took three points to draw on average. Um, and remember it's a bonus point system there. They change every state to state, which we were able to sort um, based on each state's situation. So you can see the non-resident terrain, 64% public land. So we want the harvest stats, all right here. So here's all the grades. So all the information that you've grown accustomed to in the members research section for Eastman's is all gonna be right here. Now, we're gonna move into sorting here. You can see down here at the bottom, we have a table. You pull this up and you can see everything that we have available. But check this out, as I scroll, you can see it light up on the map. So it tells me where this unit is as it goes over the top. Now, the next piece you can do, you can change this. If you want 100 to be able to scroll through and look, if you wanna be able to see 100 different units, you can tell what they are. This is even more powerful because there's a little filter here on every single one of these, 
one of these columns. Open up this filter, and let's just say you want to find all the good hunts. Turn the filter on. Take a look at how that map works. All the hunts that we've identified as green chip or good hunts are here. All the corresponding data you can sort through down here. Public land percentage. So if we click on this guy, you can see it highlights it really well there, really easy for you to identify. Click on it right here. You can have all your data. Now, let's say there's other data sets you want. So this is just the default that we've got. Turn this right here, and we can look at draw non-resident harvest or grades. So let's just look at this harvest stats and everything that we've done with harvest stats. So again, this has kept, kept that filter on. So it's all of the good units, but now you can look at the success on bucks in each of these individual units but that's 2018. 2019 is going to be coming in about 10 days. 2017 success is right here, 2016 success. So you can see the unit 111, very consistent. So what is the average success with three years? It's good. That is one, just one way of filtering. You can filter every single column based on what you want to do and sort it down to every single type of hunt uniquely in that state to what your needs and what your wants are. And that is the most powerful piece of Eastman's Tag Hub is the ability to sort through exactly what is there. Now, now that you've picked out a unit, you can come and you can look and you can see, come back up to states, look at Nevada, and then you can come here to analysis. And with analysis, you will find when you need to apply. So all your 2020 projected application dates, and we will keep this up to date. License costs and fees, all your fees are right here. Your bonus point cost, all your agency information. But now we can go to the overview and you can see every all the research that I did on the overview of the state of Nevada is here at your fingertips and you're able to use. But Nevada is an elk state. People really want to hunt elk in Nevada. So come down here to elk. And you can see all the information that I put together on the state of Nevada, everything you need to know about hunting elk in Nevada. So we'll close that up. That is our state analysis page. And so giving you this preview right now, we are going to notify you next week when all of this is available to the public. So make sure you sign up and you have your name on this list to be emailed when this is available next week. And we're looking forward to hearing from you.